Hello dear viewers, a warm welcome to PC Instruments. My name is Julian Geppert and today I would like to present you the 4-way Endoscope PC VE 370HR. The Endoscope is delivered in this carrying case and consists of the handset and the endoscope cable with a movable four-way optic. The endoscope is ideal for inspections of the industry and craft and can save on the handset pictures and videos. The diameter of the camera cable is 6 mm and the resolution of the camera on the front is 640 times 480 pixel. The lighting of the cable on the camera head is with four LEDs at the front and with two LEDs at the side respectively. I will show you this in detail later on the endoscope itself. The camera cable of the endoscope is fixed to the handset with a screw connection. Furthermore, onto this handset other cable lengths with different characteristics can also be connected. These you can find on our web page. Furthermore, in the delivery of the endoscope is a 70 degrees mirror which you can screw to the camera head, cleaning agents and a cleaning cloth to clean the lens and the endoscope, a charger, a mini USB cable to connect the endoscope to a computer and a video cable to connect it to a TV or a larger screen to look at the pictures. Also in the delivery is a 8GB memory card with which you can save the pictures directly onto the endoscope. I would now like to go into details about the technical details of the PCVE 370H endoscope. The flexible cable is 1 meter long and has a wire mesh braid. The picture sensor has a resolution of 640 x pixel. Videos are with a picture rate of 30 Hz recorded. The lighting happens automatically and you can dim it using the handset. The downfield is 1.5 to 10 centimeters. That is the focus area with which the endoscope optimally recording can. The endoscope has an integrated lighting. We have at the front four LEDs and two LEDs at the side. The head and camera's diameter are six millimeter and you can move it in different directions. The screen of the endoscope from the handset has a size of 3.5 inch has also a mini USB connection and also an AV out connection as well as a connection or a slit for a memory card. The power supply of the handset is through an integrated 3.7 lithium ion battery. On the head of the endoscope PCVE 370HR are various LEDs to light up the position that is to be investigated. The LEDs can be dimmed on the handset and it is shown on the display what the dim step is. Now I've switched on the front light to directly light up a position and on the joystick, on the hand grip, the side light can be easily switched over. As you can see here, the side lighting, when I switch it again, the front light lights up. Also, this joystick of the PC VA307 offers other functions, and that is that the picture can be turned lock clockwise. When you have pushed the button four times, you are back to the original start picture. The special functions of this endoscope is that we have a four way camera head which is moved using a joystick and then can be moved in four directions. On the head of the endoscope PCVE 370H chair, various mirrors can be adapted. For this we remove on the front the protection sleeve.
Then we have here a 70 degrees mirror. And we can screw it together so here. For this it must be observed that on the side of the head there is a tiny hole where the mirror has to be adjusted to. To stop the mirror being over screwed we have here on the bottom side of the head a fixing screw. This simply turn clockwise against the mirror and then it is fixed and it can't twist anymore. I will now show quickly the lighting. Here we have the side lighting which shines now through the hole in the mirror and when I switch over on the handset I have a front light which shines in the mirror. When I switch it again have the side light and prevent that I have mirroring on the display on the endoscope. We have on the side different connections. We have for one the slot for the SD card which you can plug in, the connection for the TV and the connection for the power supply. On the opposite side we have here underneath the rubber cover a USB socket to connect the endoscope directly to the computer. On the back there is a reset button to start the endoscope again in case it has while working an error. Then we have here at the front the buttons to use the endoscope. Here at the bottom we have a button by press and hold the endoscope is turned on. We have then here the button to save a picture. One moment I just have to dim up the lighting so that we can see a picture to record the picture. It is directly shown in the display that a picture is recorded and a button beneath is for video recording. This is also signaled. I have here a timer that runs. Or when you move the cable in an object you can see that. With another push of the button the video recording is stopped. Over the four buttons which are here at the top you come into the menu. This is done using the OK button. There are many possibilities as the settings of the video format, date and time, the language. Here are different languages. Danish, Dutch, English, French, German of course. And when you choose this the whole menu is then in that language. Then we can set an automatic disconnection. This is helpful if you only use the endoscope for a short period of time. That the battery doesn't discharge. It is annoying in the middle of a service and the endoscope has to be first charged. Normally you set it to 5 minutes. That means after 5 minutes when the endoscope is not used or an operation is not carried out the device turns off automatically. By using the escape button you come back to the output screen. All the technical data and further information to the endoscope PCVE370HR you can find at www.pc-instruments.com.